Welcome back everyone. Houston Math Prep here doing our third and final example on area inside polar curves. Remember that we also have some example videos on area between polar curves so you can check those out as well after this video. Here we're going to find the area inside a lemniscate r squared is equal to 9 sine of 2 theta. I've got my formula here area equals 1 half integral from alpha to beta my function squared d theta. Remember this is r equals f of theta in here in the integral. So my lemniscate if I just think about maybe taking the area of one of these loops here and multiplying by two it would give me the area inside completely. So I'm going to use the pole as a bound and I'm going to draw sectors all the way around one loop and come back to this point and then use the area inside and multiply by two. So we're using sectors through this region of our graph. We want to find the area there. So we'll set up our integral. We're going to multiply by 2 since I'm only using one loop. So 2 times my formula 1 half integral from alpha to beta f of theta squared. In other words, this is r squared, right? Now, what you may notice is I already have r squared. So actually what goes in my integral is just what is written here. 9 sine of 2 theta. Often when we have these formulas, it's just r equals, right? But with this lemniscate type of formula, sometimes we get an r squared equals formula. It's already r squared. It just needs to go in. It's already squared for us before we get there. Okay, now we need to figure out our alpha and our beta. Well, I'm starting at the pole. I'm going around the curve and coming back to the pole. So alpha and beta are both at the pole, right? So alpha is here, beta is also here in this example. Where is that true? Well obviously if it's at the pole that's when r is 0. So I need to figure out two values in a row where r is 0 as a solution to this function. So if we do that we will say r being 0, 0 squared is still going to be 0, right? So 0 equals 9 sine of 2 theta uh, we could divide by 9, we'll still get 0 on the other side, right? So 0 equals sine 2 theta. Where is that true? Well, let's see. Ignore the 2 theta for now. The first place that that is true would be where? Well, it would be at 0, right? Sine of 0 is 0. And then where is the other place that this is true? Well, it would also be, the next place would be at pi, right? So I have the inside equal to zero and the inside equal to pi. Those are going to be my answers. So two theta equal to zero and two theta equal to pi will be my alpha and my beta. If I divide by two here, I'll just get theta is zero. If I divide by two here, then I'll actually get that theta is pi over two, right? So I'll be integrating from zero to pi over 2 to find my area. Now I don't have to worry about squaring here and my 2 times a half reduces to 1. Let's go ahead and bump our 9 out. We could do that. You don't have to but I'll do it here. 9 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of just simply sine 2 theta d theta and this is actually a really easy integral to do, right? So here we'll get 9 times antiderivative of sine 2 theta. So antiderivative of sine is going to be negative cosine. But now the antiderivative will give us the reciprocal of 2 coming out. So we get negative 1 half cosine of 2 theta. Okay, and we'll evaluate that from 0 to pi over 2. Let's go ahead and do that I could bump out the you know the negative one half let's go ahead and do that so let's say negative 9 over 2 and then cosine of 2 theta when theta is pi over 2 if I plug in pi over 2 here multiply by 2 that would give me pi so cosine of pi what is that that's negative 1 minus and then what do we get when we plug in 0 well I would get cosine of 0 and that would be 1, so I get positive 1 here, and I think we can see what we get, right? We get negative 9 halves, we get a negative 2 in here, the negative and the negative make this positive, the 2 and the over 2 reduce, and so we simply just get an area of 9. Okay everyone, thanks for watching our example video on area inside polar curves. We'll see you in the next video.